He came from Sri Lankan University. He said, "I had have you to present physics in forum neural networks, a rapid solution of structural engineering partial differential equations." So I invite Mr. I have have you to this stage to deliver the speech. Uh, hello everyone. Today I will give a presentation titled Physics Informed Neural Network A Rapid Solution of Structural Engineering Partial Differential Equations. So I will start with a quick uh, outline to my presentation. I will give a brief introduction to the topic and I will move on to talk about the aim of this study. What are physics informed neural networks, data driven AN versus physics informed neural networks, and applications of physics informed neural networks? So, nowadays, artificial neural networks are widely adopted tools for solving structural engineering problems by offering rapid solutions. A neural network is a data efficient solution to simulate significantly difficult and complex uh, approaches. Uh, recently, this technique was applied by a knife in a shiny armor to tackle complicated problems, including prediction of from the substance of concrete, uh, evaluating behavior of concrete and steel structures, conducting seismic vulnerability assessment, and developing adaptive control systems. Indeed, the general impression about ANNs is that they save computational efforts by offering close form solution to problems. So, when you develop a neural network solution, you can directly estimate the problem. I will give examples for them in the later slides. Uh, currently, purely data-driven neural network lacks the robustness needed to accurately infer results in small data regimes. Recently, an approach to run to neural network, known as physics informed neural network, has been developed as a way of supervised learning in which we reduce the number of data required to come up with a new model. The neural network in a physics informed uh, model is deeply embedded with the laws of physics. So rather than being data dependency approach, it is now learning the physics of the uh, problem that self evolution of the data. So in this study, I will briefly describe what is physics informed neural network. I will summarize a little bit of the recent applications and I will clarify what are the differences between physics informed and purely data driven neural networks. So neural networks come as a way of mimicking human biological neuron in the brain. Um, in similar to the human biological brain, you have cell and you have input sensing and output response of the brain, you have a mathematical representation of each part of the neural network. Uh, the main cell is summarized by the summation of the weight of the input multiplied by the input plus a parameter, and the activation function transfers values that are mathematically invalid in physics to a physical mean. The main applications of artificial neural network are typically divided into two categories. One, you can develop approximate solution to simulate complex relations that we cannot mathematically get a full accurate model for. This includes prediction of compressive strength of room. There are many parameters that affect the changes. So if you have a solid database, you can give the neural network what are the property of the concrete and you can get the concrete. Or vice versa, you can ask the neural network to design you one compressive strength of say 30 and they give you the proportions for it. The other type of application of the neural network is developing efficient alternatives 
to problems that we can mathematically solve, but are, uh, but are very long due to iterations. This includes solving a nonlinear time history analysis of a structure. For a nonlinear time history analysis, what you do is typically you model the structure, then you select the record and you apply it to the structure. But in the solution of, or in the typical solution, like Newman solution, we are using what is known as a Newton Raphson solution. Newton Raphson tried to um, make sure at any time step that the building is in stability. Once it is not in stable, it loses convergence and it is no longer a valid solution. Uh, the problem is you need many trials and error. For instance, I tried a single degree of freedom column, one column with a mass on, and I run it for a very simple elastic plastic hysteria simulator, and it takes about 4,500 trials to reach. When you have larger structure, you have larger trials, and each trial takes time because you have many equations to supply. The neural network can come up with a new solution that once you get the arbitrary response and the type of the building, it gives you the response of the building itself. Now, the types are, of neural network are generally divided into two. Either you are talking about data-driven neural network that are based on data only, no science of physics, or they are physics informed. The data-driven neural networks are one of the examples of the compressor system. You give the neural network data, but you don't know what are the relations. There are many relations in, involved. But the physics involved can be represented by an example I was showing the coming side. In addition to the data, you give a function to the neural network, but it is not like direct implementation. You have to recode the algorithm itself to embed the physical laws. There are three types of physical laws. Either you can give the function itself that simulates the data, which you can obtain the data from the function, or you can ask a physics generalization. Physics generalization is a way. Let's say that you are designing a problem. You are expecting to run a to give you positive values because there are no logically applicable negative values. So you can tell the neural network to add a penalty once it is thinking that the answer is negative. By that, way you can increase the error every time the answer is negative to make sure that in the second trial of the training it may be positive. Another way is you are physics informed in a complex problem together with the generalization. So simply let's consider a simply supported beam and our aim is to get the reaction of the beam. What we are doing is we are making sure that the load are constant and we are changing only the sign of the beam every time. The neural network, by changing this line, can give you the reaction of the beam in the circle, or oh, sorry, support in the circle, vertical reaction. The exact solution, using very simple mechanics, is like a power function. The red uh, part or the red highlight represents negative values. We know if the reaction, if the action of the beam is downward, the action, the action would be positive anyway for this one. So negative values for this problem is impossible or impractical, wrong, wrong answer. Now, if I try normal neural network, which is a purely data-driven neural network, the neural network solution will look like this. So it will enter into the red shape because it, it has data in the hand. It doesn't have physics. It doesn't know anything. Now, if we add physics info to the neural network, so we re-change the algorithm by adding a function, which is summation of forces equal to zero in this case, the solution will look like this. It will still be in the negative bar, but it will be closer to the solution, which is more correct. Now, let's say that I do a physics generalization. I only add penalty, but I don't add the load in the uh, function. It will look like this. It is no longer giving positive uh, negative values, but it is still wrong. Now, the ultimate solution to this problem is when we merge or combine the generalization with the information. And in that case, you get a curve like this, which is almost identical to the solution. Now, this is a very simple problem that, of course, would not be logical to solve in the neural network. But consider or scale this problem to large nonlinear numbers, where when you have to do it in the exact solution, it takes days. Okay. Now, uh, the scale to one is designing phase isolation system using physics informed neural network. The problem is we have four loops of trial and errors. These loops are revised in the neural network 
by adding physics informed and physics generalization to the neural network. Once you merge the physics informed and physics generalization together with the data on the isolator, you can present. Um, this is just an example of how the mathematical equations look like in the neural network. The prediction capability, you can see in the blue line, it is the only data driven, and in the yellow line, it is a fully informed neural network to the analyzation and to the loss. We drop the error from in a normalized form by 80%. This error is very high. The error in the blue one is regarded as impractical because it exceeds the logical value so much. Uh, now, the average of error in the figure 15 is between 5% and the maximum is 10% for 14 parameters of prediction. And the change in duration of training is only 4%, which is very practical. Now, previous studies on partial differential equations included, included predicting the response of ability. Uh, the study conducted by Zemini Dor, this study takes the equation of motion into the neural network as a minimization function. And you, you, by using long short term memory neural network, you can estimate by inputting the arbitrary resource into the neural network, you can find the displacement of the building at any story. Of course, the answer is very close because it is estimation, but it is in the results was almost identical to the uh, numerical one using finite elements. Another study by Leah uh, used uh, tried to use multi degree of freedom with negative stiffness in the first story. Uh, the partial differential equation embedded into the physics and form looks like this, where you have two parts of the uh, solution. One part is related to physics neural network, the other part is related to data dependence. And the approach for this one was to extrapolate. We have full cartridge, we fit the neural network with half of the cartridge, and we try to predict the other part. And the accuracy is very high using the physics and form neural network in this society. So, in conclusion, this study has focused on describing only physics and form. Part of the penalization has already been published in a publication um, provided later in engineering, but, uh, engineering application of artificial intelligence journal. The physics form is still a very emerging field. It was introduced in 2018. It still holds many potential applications to it, including, for example, changing the control system, where you, for control system or active control, you need to protect that the earthquake shaking intensity in a one second merge. Because once you know what will be the next second, you can change the force in the uh, control system and you can save the building from potential damage. So this was all for my presentation. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you have data. Okay. Oh. Do you want to do any or?